Today I'm searching stores around me for the Yu-Gi-Oh set that just exploded in value, Tactical Masters. I'm about to head into Target, see if we can find any Tactical Masters because Labyrinth did really well at YCS Vegas and some of those prices have shot way up and I heard from Little Bird, AKA Chels, that they might actually have some. So let's go in and see if we can find any. Look both ways when you're crossing the street. Oh, I'm in the middle of the street, whoops. We have a high demand limit. Hey, do you know if these are uh, is Pokemon only or is it Magic, no, Yu-Gi-Oh? All, all of it's five per? Okay, makes sense. Looks like our five items will be these Tactical Masters. All right, so it looks like they were only allowing us to buy five items. So five blisters, not really that much, probably not gonna make for a full video. So I might go to the, my locals and see if they have any Tactical Masters because this set is hot right now. Labyrinth is crazy. So I wanna find more so we get up, cause five, I mean, that's not a full video, you know? Target kind of failed us. They never usually have packs, so they actually did have a decent selection, but I guess the only way they keep a decent selection is by limiting it to five. So that's fine. Let's just, I might go to the locals and check it out. All right, we are at locals. Hopefully they have some tactical masters to redeem Target for only having five packs. We'll have to see. Let's go. Uh, we have two different options for Lost Ark. I'll do the axe. Actually, no, 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 Don's Luke. Yeah, we gotta go with that. <laughs> Both good. There you are. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, Frontline came in clutch for us. We got 12 packs. Unfortunately, someone had bought all the boxes probably because of the Labyrinth stuff. So these we had to buy at a per pack basis of like $4.20 per pack, which is basically retail. Basically what you do on blister packs, but a box was gonna save us some money. That's okay, we did get this Lost Art card. So that'll help. So honestly, glad we were able to find at least 12 packs. I bought them out of the last few packs. So we have 17 packs to open. Maybe we can pull some Labyrinth stuff. That's the whole goal of this video. We'll have to see. A few moments later. I decided since I'm already out here looking for Tactical Masters, I might as well stop by this Walmart I haven't been to in a while. So I'm hoping that maybe they have some older packs laying around like Tactical Masters that we could grab and, you know, add to our 17 packs. We're not even at a booster box yet. With these collector rare sets, you know, it's like you could get like zero ultra rares out of that many packs. So let's see if we can find any in this Walmart. That's what we're looking for right there. Uh, can I just get 10 of those Tactical Masters over there and then two of the mystery boxes, two or two right to it? All right. Thank you, you too. Okay, so we were in luck. They actually had a ton of Tactical Masters. I could have bought a lot more, but I figured we'd leave some for if somebody's looking for some, but not bad. Pretty good. All right, guys, we are back from Walmart, our locals, and Target. We did manage to find, what, 27 Tactical Masters packs, which is pretty decent, a little bit more than a box. And we do have this giveaway. This is the Lost Art card I got from my locals Frontline Games. I'm giving away this Don Zalug with, you know, he's got the guns instead of the knives. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think about the new Labyrinth stuff. And let me know what you think about Tactical Masters now that Labyrinth is kind of blown up. And something I want to do while we're going through this is the price that we paid versus some other things. So the reason I'm bringing that up is because I have a special discount code for Tactical Masters with Sassy Auto's eBay listing. You can buy an entire booster box of this set for $52. Also, you get 5% off if you use code Rux and Special. So basically, you're going to get 24 packs for 52 minus 5%. And we spent a total of $126 on just 27 packs. So you can get two boxes for the price of less than I paid, which is insane. Hey. Have you checked the community tab? On March 4th, I'm cutting off all giveaway claims because I'm getting overrun by giveaways. So make sure you claim it by March 4th or you will not be able to win your giveaway. So go to my YouTube channel, scroll over to the community tab, scroll down to all the different winners. You can control F, search your name if that helps because it might help you find it. And scroll all the way for the past two, three years, see if you want anything because I'm getting overrun by extra giveaways that have not been claimed. If you don't claim it by March 4th, I'm officially taking it back for more giveaways and stuff like that. So I'm giving you guys about a week and a half to claim all of these so that I can clear out my area. <laughs> Let's get into this opening, but make sure you guys check out that link quickly because he is running low on stock at the time I'm recording this. So there may or may not be many left by the time we actually post the video. There's a super rare right off the bat. The Labyrinth stuff in here has gone absolutely insane. The Ariana Ultra is like 45. The CR is like 120. The Welcome Labyrinth card's 45. Like the cards are insane in here right now. Okay, let's keep it going. We got 27 packs. Let's see if we can pull something big. If we get the Ariana, on a CR, we will get our money back, which would be sick. All right, Archfiend. Okay, you guys know I don't love opening. Uh, okay, the Labyrinth Archfiend is just a rare in here. Yeah, this is also uh, a card that we pull out of gold all the time. You guys know I don't love opening these sets because they're like weird. You only get like three ultras per 24 packs on, you know, in booster boxes and stuff like that. But I had to go and check these out because, I mean, there's some big time cards in here. This set was pretty 
eh when it first came out because Labyrinth wasn't really popping off and nothing else was out of here either. So Minute of the Moonin, the Runic Wings, that's actually good for the Runic and uh, Sprite deck, I believe. So it's not bad. But yeah, even though I don't love the setup of these, there's some big time value cards. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a, a little, uh, two from the back here because it's a little bit too quick to get to the rear we got absolute king blackjack we've got the i always say black it's backjack uh we have a uh, dispelling we've got the duke book of eclipse oh and the lovely labyrinth of the silver castle so this one is not that great i don't think it's actually one that they tend to use it's about five bucks which is not terrible i mean we'll, we'll take it for sure unfortunately it's not like one of the big labyrinth which is the uh welcome labyrinth and the arian that's one of the ones that we really want and then the runic cards are in here as well so this set is actually aging pretty well because runic and labyrinth are both pretty relevant in terms of the meta uh, so basically, if we pull any of that stuff, we're pretty happy. And uh, so far, we've gotten a Labyrinth card. Not really the one that they're going to play, though. We have a Fiend Griefing. Let's see. Quick Booster. Valence World. The Shinra Benso. Super rare. And then the Astrograph Sorcerer. So just a couple more rares. Let me know in the comments if you like these kind of vlogs that I've been doing. I've been trying to do a little bit more, like, kind of a mix between a vlog and also an opening. So you still get an opening and everything like that. But you also see, like, how I acquired the packs. You know, you get to go on the journey with me. I had some in interesting interactions. There was a lady at the last Walmart we went that was basically, okay, let's see what we get. Oh, a lovely labyrinth. All right, a super rare. That's pretty good. I said lovely, labyrinth, labyrinth. There we go. She was talking to me like the whole time while I was waiting and I was just like, and I'm pretty sure it's because I was just had, I had a mic on my chest and people just act weird when you have a mic. Like they either like start being really nice or they like start telling you all this stuff that they like, Hope that you're recording. It's really interesting. Bear Blocker, we have a another Labyrinth Labyrinth back to back. I mean, that is the goal to get Labyrinth stuff. Not that, but other Labyrinth stuff. She was actually really nice, but she was like, yeah, uh, yeah, I just wish people would be nicer to each other these days. And I'm like, yeah, uh huh, yep, yeah, okay. Valence, we have a Ring Destruction. Super rare. And then a Malice and Duelist Alliance. Pretty cool. So it was pretty funny. And then like every time I would walk in somewhere, people would just be like, they would like look at my face and look at the mic and then look back and like look. They were, they were very confused. It was pretty funny. Tactical Masters, which I'm already really weird about like not like wanting to like annoy people. And then it's like, I'm just being like a distraction. So I just feel weird about it. But Runic Smiting Storm. We got a Runic Destruction again. It's back to back the same cards twice. Weird. So trying to get over that since, you know, vlogging, you kind of have to like do your thing and record and talk to the camera even though people are right next to you so working on that but we'll see how it goes we have a labyrinth uh chandar Grillier. that sounds like a pokemon we have a nazuki we got quick booster runic flashing fire so we're getting some runic stuff that's for sure runic slumber i might keep some of that just in case we build that deck even though i think that deck's uh not exactly the most fun to play against right from what i've heard tactical masters i do like the sprite portion though i might try to put that together now that i've been playing it on master duel on my twitch make sure you guys go check me out uh twitch.tv slash reduction 34 been streaming three days a week monday wednesday friday is when i stream valence buster baron three days a week all year i am not missing a week in this entire year i'm Unless, of course, we have to go on like a week vacation, which I try to avoid. Because I personally don't really like vacations that much, but Chelsea does. So sometimes you got to you gotta go with her. So Tactical Masters, we'll see. We usually tend to do like half weeks, though. So maybe I'd be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, Labyrinth Archfiend, we have a Runic Allure. Pendulum Fusion, the Runic Dispelling, Runic Destruction again. Man, a lot of the same supers. Still only one Ultra Rare so far. We're still looking for more. Can we pull something? Yeah, my locals just had the 12 regular packs left. They had uh, the loose packs. They didn't have any boxes. Apparently, somebody came in and bought the two. You may have seen that in the vlog. That's a Droll Lockbird. Not bad. We have a Runic and a Labyrinth Labyrinth. They play a set of those. I don't know if they even play that. I'm pretty sure they don't, but... Who knows? Yeah, so of course, I mean, naturally somebody would come in there and buy the boxes because it's been a couple of days since the YCS. Here we go. Let's get Ariana. Let's get a Labyrinth, whatever it's called. Gary the Runic Fangs. That was a Ruxin special. Super rare. We'll take it. Astrograph Sorcerer and Labyrinth Ku Klux. Okay, weird. Still a few packs. Actually, a lot of packs left, honestly. We haven't really opened that many. Let's see if this is where we get what we're looking for. Senate Switch, Labyrinth. Fiend Grieving, Runic Dispelling, Duelist Alliance, we got something, Scapegoat, and, and Ariana, the Labyrinth Servant, the number one card in the set, oh my goodness, is that from Locals, or is that from, I don't remember if that was out of a blister, rerun the footage right now. And now you have your answer. I don't know which one we just got this from, but this is a $120 card. We made our money back, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to locals if it was you guys. That's pretty awesome. Wow, okay, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, that is insane. The best card in the set. Come on, dude. One, two, let's go. That is crazy. 
Valence Voltage, Runic Allure, Pendulum Switch. If you guys want to get some of this, make sure to check out Sassy Auto's link down below. There's another Moon in the Runic Wings. Use code Ruxin Special for 5% off. You can get twice as many packs as I got for the same price. Actually, a little bit less of a price. So yeah, you're definitely going to want to do that because that will, uh, you know, give you a chance to get some awesome Labyrinth stuff. I've always talked about like... Well, I've not really talked about it, but people are always asking me, Pendulum Switch, Runic Destruction again, Trap Trick, and Book of Eclipse. People are always asking, hey, uh, what do I open to get money? Like, make money. And I'm like, there's nothing to open to make money. But what you can do is you can actually open stuff that has a better chance of making you money. So like, Droll and Lockbird again, nice. We got two of those, Pendulum Fusion, Valence, those are never, they have never been good. Maybe they will eventually, just like Labyrinth. So we did that video of Rise of the Duelist that, like recently, go check that out if you missed it. I was talking about how opening these kind of sets is not worth it anymore because they've reprinted all the stuff inside. Well, here's a set where they have just, you know, done really well in a tournament. So now it's more worth it to open this because the values have gone up because it did well. So it's kind of the opposite of the Rise of the Duelist thing, a play set of Droll, that is amazing. We're in Spining Storm, Valence World. We don't want to see any Valence, but we are. Scapegoat. Remember opening a lot of this for Scapegoat? Yeah, that was fun. And the sad part was this was not worth anything at the time, so kind of weird. But yeah, keep that in mind when it comes to value. If there's been like something that has recently gotten popular, maybe it's a better thing to open. You know, maybe that's what you go for if you want to open something versus like an older set. It's like 20 bucks a blister and you really can't pull that much. Tactical Masters. I can't believe we pulled that. We're actually going to like get close to making our money back, which is crazy. Let's go. We have Cosmic Cyclone. So far, only one Ultra Rare, though, still. Like, we just happen to get the right Collector Rare, which is... Oh, Runic Golden Droplet. Which is uh, hilarious because there's 15 different Collector Rares. So actually getting the one that we actually want. Pretty absurd. Like, the odds of that are about one in four cases. We're opening basically one booster box. So one in 40... Like, what? One case is 12. So one in 48 boxes is basically the odds we had. Very low. Very low. Invader Darkness, Reckless Greed. We have Nazuki. Can we get an Ultra Rare? Now, oh, we're going to get something. Duelist Alliance, come on! Runic Div Collector Rare! This is one of the best ones, too! Runic Tip! No way! This video is insane! This is the second best card! No way, dude! These are the top two cards in the set! We just pulled two from basically a booster box. That is insane. And this is why opening random packs from like three different places can be amazing or terrible. Because like otherwise we could have pulled nothing because we pulled just a few different booster packs. But instead we pulled the two best cards in the set. Oh my gosh, that is absurd. Not only do we pull the best two cards, but they're the collector rare best cards. So like literally the top two cards in the set. You can't make that up. Like the odds to pull the top two collector rares in the same opening out of 27 packs is insane. And that's why uh, when you open loose packs, Packs, a lot of people like assume when you pull terribly that it's like scaled or something but it's not like it's just this example shows you that you can just have really bad luck just like we just had really crazy luck there's a super rux special first of the day running destruction and escape goat but you can have just as bad luck as we had good luck so like let's say we pulled the five packs from target none of them had anything we pulled the 12 packs from my locals they happen to be the half of the box with no foils in it and then we pulled the uh, the other 10 from walmart those didn't have any foils that could have happened like it's a thing that can happen it's it's just as unlikely as pulling crazy but it is possible so that's something you have to keep in mind when you are buying loose packs you could just get completely unlucky it's pretty crazy and uh in this case we got completely lucky so we'll take it still only one ultra rare which is hilarious rick wait Wait, wait, Book of Eclipse, wait, 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 wait. Welcome, Labyrinth! No way, dude! These are absurd! The $45 trap card! Oh my god! It's in a regular Ultra, but it's one of the best ones. Probably the best one besides Ariana. I mean, they might be like tied now. Right now, it says this one's slightly better. So we now have the best Ultra Rare and the best two Collector Rares out of 27 packs. Like, my head hurts from screaming too much. Like, normally it's one pull where you get excited, or zero, you know? Not three, not three pulls. So these blisters, I mean, I didn't, I didn't organize them in any specific way, but wow, we picked the right blisters. Runic Allure, Valence, Runic Spot. We don't need anything else, so. Super Rare, Lab of the Barrage, okay. Whew, that, for some reason, I thought that was a collector rare, even though it was the fifth slot, so it couldn't be, but I'm, I'm just expecting greatness now at this point, because, I mean, the only thing that we could get now is the lovely Labyrinth that we already pulled in collector rare, that's 68 bucks. Droll and Lockbird collector rare, that's 55 bucks. And then the uh, the Ariana just did ultra rare. Those are like the only cards we don't have in the top six. Pure Iron Wall, crazy. We got a Pendulum Switch. 
That's a Ruxin special right to the Labyrinth Barrage, back to back. It's weird how we keep pulling back to back the same ones. Pretty weird, but I'll take it. And finally, Tactical Masters. Wow, this has turned out to be an awesome video. Make sure you use code Ruxin special if you guys want 5% off uh, to get some of this down below. It's way cheaper than what I paid, but I think I made my money back, which is awesome. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the content because it's going to be more like this. Our final pack, here it comes. I, I, I don't even know what to expect. I'm just going to expect a super and just, just keep going. Reckless Greed and Azuki. We got Quick Boost. And a rude destruction. Okay, we didn't need to pull anything else. It was too insane.